What's up, guys? The day has finally come. Zamasu, the trailer is here. I have watched the trailer already, but to avoid any kind of copyright strikes or anything like that, hi, Bandai Namco, <laughs> I'm just going to go through and pause it bit by bit so we can kind of see what's happening in the trailer and I can tell you my two cents. But yeah, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. The character is coming out soon, as the timeline would suggest from the last DLC patch. So I'd say about maybe two or three weeks till Zamasu is finally re uh, released. But we're probably going to get some gameplay in between that also, besides this trailer. But anyway, let's get on to the trailer so I can tell you what's happening. First things first, this intro is amazing, by the way. This intro is so funny to me. I don't know why. Well, this is not 720. Hold up. Let's, let's bump up that audio real quick. Let's, let's go back. Let's bump up that quality. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to have to... Can I make the speed normal? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, it's, it's, we're going to break it down pretty slowly, so it's probably a good idea to do this instead. All right, so first things first, right? We got what appears to be 2M, I'm going to say. If you we can go back a little bit right here, it seems like he's moving forward if this is 2M. Like I'm saying, everything here is speculation because I didn't make the character, <laughs> but... Just by from my just from my knowledge alone, I would suspect this to be to him. You kind of see him lean forward a little bit. It's got decent range on it, I would say. Probably up to here. It's a pretty standard two M, I would say. Into I'm gonna assume is five M here. Again, good range. It's very Goku Black like, which kind of makes sense that him and Goku Black would share. Similar style normals, which is good. Goku Black's normal set is quite solid. I'm happy about that. Now, this is interesting. I These next two normals, I'm not sure if this is uh, Jump M or Jump Light. Because you're going to see right here. He does this normal into this. I don't know if this is Jump M, Jump Light. Or if it's Jump Light, Jump M. But wait, let's go back. Let's see that first normal, right? So, 2M, 5M. Air normal. This is pretty good. If this was a jump in, I would say. Hoping this is to be jump medium. It's quite solid. Also with this jump light, or unless it's unique normal. This is also quite solid. Going at a good angle here. Not as good as the other one, but the normals are looking solid. Now, we have this. I mean, Zamasu strikes the pose, and he does this key blast like move i don't know if it's going to be a special move or it's just his jump s i'm going to assume this is jump s because later on in the video you're going to see a different move but this is what i'm interested in right here this right he does a slash this slash is interesting because all right it's meterless clearly but the important thing is it gives us animation which could indicate him having Slide knockdown meterless, which is a solid thing in the meta right now. With having having a slide knockdown that doesn't require any bar is mad good. It's mad good. That's 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 why characters like uh like Goku or even someone like Vegeta, even Goku Black, he has to use a bar for it, but having a tool set like this, especially depending on what kind of hit you get, is very, very good. Cause let's say if he gets off of a vanish confirm, he has access to this move that's gonna give him slide knockdown without using any bar. So I really like that. I think it's a good, it's pretty, it's pretty solid by his part. Now this, <laughs> this is this super confuses me. So let me put the audio back on for this actually. This brings back up to, we can bring it to seventy five. So he does this barrage. I'm curious because he just stands here. 
very menacingly. I wonder if you could move during this. Because there is there is a screenshot. I don't know if you guys have put this together yet, but there was a screenshot earlier in the week where you saw him move around. Like he wasn't in this specific pose. You see who were just standing here. He was kind of like floating back. And these were these red orbs were happening. So I kind of pred I'm predicting here that he has access to his mobility during this super. Which is kind of good. A one bar, one bar super that gives pretty good lockdown and he's able to move during it. So probably doing this and calling an assist afterwards is quite scary. If if this is the case, if if this is the case, I hope it is because that would be amazing if this is if this is real. Okay, now we're getting to the last part of the trailer, which is the flight. So there's a few questions I have, but we won't know until later on, probably. Hopefully this week, maybe they'll give some more gameplay. But first question is, can he block during this flight mechanic? Uh, secondly, how long is the recovery for unflight? Is it zero frames? Does he have some recovery? Does he keep his air action? So what I mean by that is if he goes into flight and and he, he say he goes into flight and he goes into, he unflies, does he still have access to double jump, air dash, Stuff like that. And also, this move right here. He shoots his lightning. Can you super dash through this? Are these, are these key blasts or are these considered beams? Because if they're considered beams, you can't super dash through it. But it does give off the particle effect that this is a key blast. Like most key blasts in the game, they have this minor explosion. So... I'm predicting these to be key blasts, but hey, you never know. It could be beams. It could be really good. I'm also curious about what other moves he has out of this this flight mechanic. And we get to see this pretty sick level three. So during this level three, let's put it let's put it back to big boy slow mo. The thing about this level three here is when he does it, he shoots him immediately and then the rest of the shots come in. So I wonder if this is this first hit has to connect on hit or maybe it could happen on block. And also does this track? Does this track the opponent? But overall, I can see it being a pretty good level three. Like DHC wise and probably combo. But I'm not sure. I hope it does track, which would be good. But I wonder if it's going to do damage or it's going to lock down on block too. Because if it does it on block, it'd be pretty interesting because it covers a big portion of the screen. So let's say if somebody having to call an assist and you get this level three off, will it just do massive damage on the assist, even though the point character is blocking? So that's kind of interesting. I want to see how that's going to work out. But it's kind of it for the trailer. We, we did get a good amount of information. Or at least I think I took a good amount of information from this, this short trailer. But there's still a lot of questions, like I said before. Hopefully we get some gameplay later this week. And there is no official release date yet. Yeah, no, no release date. From what I can see, the rest of the trailer, yeah. But that's Zamasu. I'm hype. He looks solid from what we've seen so far. And I'm predicting some pretty interesting things. But, you know, got to wait. Hopefully, maybe like two, three weeks before the character comes out. But, yeah. Can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. Going to be doing some streams. Hopefully, he's good enough. I can add him on the main team. Especially for the fact, if you haven't heard, they are balancing the game. So, they are adjusting a few of the characters two of them on my team right now which is kid boo and vegeta cell is not getting patched so most likely they're gonna get nerfed so we might have to pick up a new team if they're getting you know shot down but i'm ready i'm ready for zamasu i'm super ready for zamasu hopefully i can get him on the main team but yeah that's it for me and expect more zamasu stuff real soon take care guys